guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i want to show you guys the easiest way to achieve the most natural look using makeup products i suggest bb cream and that's exactly what i'm going to be using today to show you guys how it's so easy just to blend it looks flawless it's effortless it's a quick and easy makeup routine as well yesterday i went out with it and somebody asked me how i get my skin to look so flawless and i'm like i mean it's bb cream but it works and it lasted all day long pretty much and I have to say that it's also a good skin enhancer as well because I have such dry skin so the baby cream that I use gives that moisture that I need as well so it works in so many different ways. The BB cream that I use is the NYX BB cream. It's a beauty balm. It has so many effects. I get the golden shade. See it says develop to hydrate smooth and help color correct the skin tone. It says it all in the back right here. It's literally the best thing I have ever got my hands on. I used to use CoverGirl, but I felt like it only would last a good four hours. This I've used and I've taken like note of how long I wore it and I wore it for about 12 hours and it lasted and it looked perfect the whole day. Yes, you do need to set it, which does help make it last longer, but I'm going to be showing you what you can do to help set it as well today. So just like you would use foundation, you always have to prime. And for primer, I use the Studio Moisture Fix by MAC. And it is really good. I got this at Nordstrom, honestly, for $15. I seen it and I figured, let me try it. I tried it. I love it. It really does help the product stay and last long too. And it does definitely give a sense of moisture to my skin, especially like I said, in these dry winter months, it's completely dry. So the BB cream in this really helps lock in my moisture. So I'm just gonna apply that really quickly right now for you guys. So now that I'm all primed up and ready, I'm going to use the BB cream. I think it retails for about $14.99 in CVS, Ulta. You can even get it online. Amazon has it also, I think for a dollar less. Honestly, it's the best thing I've ever got my hands on. I, I would not be here making this video for you guys if I didn't think it was the best. I'm going to take a regular powder brush. I just feel like the powder brush really does help this blend so smoothly. I'm just gonna put a little bit on. A little goes a long way with this BB cream as well. And I picked up this from Ulta yesterday, the Makeup Revolution Sport Fix. It's supposed to be an extra hold, long stay makeup setting spray. So I'm trying that now for the first time. Just gonna spritz it a little bit just so it's easier to blend and it will hopefully last longer. Longer than 12 hours because this I've never tried before. So I'm curious to see. I've heard a lot of great reviews on it. Now the one good thing that is a huge benefit for me that I've already noticed as I applied the BB cream is it does give a sudden glow to the face and it does make me look a little tanner. The best part about wearing turtlenecks is you don't have to worry about blending down to the neck. But once it sets in, it does get a little bit lighter. That's why I go the shade darker. Now moving on to concealer. I also picked this up yesterday. It's the Makeup Revolution Regular Conceal and Define. I've never used this before and it's a full coverage conceal and contour so that works for me. So I'm testing this out while doing the BB cream look. It does have a strong chemically smell to it. I did hear a lot of good reviews on it though so that's why I was dying to try it when I seen it yesterday at Ulta. I was like oh I need this. So I'm just going to take my beauty blender and quickly pat everything down. So now that everything is set in, I'm going to take my Dream Wonder Powder by Maybelline. I love this powder also. It sets the foundation really nicely. And for $10, it really does help it stay longer. So that's why I'm recommending it to you guys. I think it works for all skin types. And I have dry skin and this doesn't even seep in or cling into my dry spots or anything. So that's why I'm very impressed. I'm just going to go in with my powder brush. And in case you guys are interested in getting this powder brush, it's from Sephora. I think it, I've had it for like six years and it still works great. And the bristles, everything is still there intact. So that's always a plus. So I'm just going to lightly press into it. And then I'm just going to take it and press it in all over my face, which will help last, which will make the BB cream last longer. Normally, it does dry mattifying, but it doesn't feel mattifying, if that makes sense. Like, I'm literally feeling it, and it feels like dewy. It feels like a skin moisturizer, but a lightweight one. It's not heavy. I feel like literally nothing is on my face, like as if I put on a moisturizer. 
So that's one big bonus about this BB cream. Next, I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer, which is so hard to see, but it's right there in gold letters. And honestly, with this look, you don't really need to add bronzer if you don't want to because you do already look a little golden tan type. But I do put the bronzer on just because it gives a little bit more of a definition. And I will use the bronzer as eyeshadow, which you will see just to further define my face. So I'm going to use my BH Cosmetics V5 brush. Also their bristles are very, very soft. Nothing falls out. I really like their collection. I'm just going to lightly tap off the excess and just lightly line over my eyes towards that upper lid. Then I'm going to take my angled brush by BH Cosmetics in V3. Just lightly swift it. One thing about this bronzer is it's very extremely buttery and I love it. It's a lot, but it's definitely worth it. So now that that's done, like I said, you can leave it as a matte look. But just to further go into it, I do want to use my new Wet n Wild Highlighting Platinum Bar. It's part of their Mega Glow collection. It's a really, really pretty highlight. Just can't get it open right now. Here we go. See, it's so illuminescent. So pretty. And it's extremely, extremely pigmented. Like, I mean, you don't really need to use setting spray on your brush or anything. You can just easily brush it and put it on. And it's just, look, I'll show you. I'm just gonna lightly, lightly brush it so there's not too much product. I mean, do you guys see that? It really makes a huge difference. I, I really love their collection lately. Next, I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara using Scandal Eyes Volume Flash by Rimmel London. They have really amazing mascaras. It really does plump up my lashes, make them look like I have fakes on, but I really don't, which also works with the natural. So I'm just going to quickly re uh, quickly apply that for you guys, and then I'll be right back. So now that the mascara is on and everything, I'm just going to use my Kylie Jenner lipstick in Mont Blanc, and I'm just going to quickly apply on lipsticks. It's like lipsticks. Lipstick. It's a really light nude shade. I think it'll complement the look extremely perfectly. Just to give a little pop of color, but as well as that more natural, to enhance the natural look. So yeah guys, this is the final look. As you guys can tell, it does look very natural and it does give a little bit of a luminous effect to it with the highlight. So it gives you that dewy glow, but also if you have dry skin, it does mattify down with the setting powder or you can use any random setting powder that you use. To finish off the look, because I use the setting powder, I don't really feel like I need to add the setting spray since I already also added it to my brush. But you can spray setting spray over it if you want to if you want it to have that long lasting effect. I think the setting powder does just that exactly so that's pretty much it i'm going to be linking the products down below in the description box for those of you interested in purchasing i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you on my next video bye